Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. Today we are going over set number 75053. This is the Ghost from 2014. If you guys have seen the Star Wars Rebel set, you will be very familiar with this, as it is the, the ship that the main characters are in for the entire series. And uh, if you haven't seen Rebels, you should. If you've seen the Ahsoka series, they have a new set for that, which I will be doing after this one. And then we'll be doing a comparison of the two. Uh, this, like I said, came out in 2014. It retailed for $89.99 with uh, 929 pieces. And it had four minifigures in it. Uh, if you want to get yourself one of these, uh, you can get it on Bricklink with just the ship for $110. Uh, if you want it sealed and in box, uh, even with a damaged box, it's starting at 500 smackaroos. So, uh, I hope you really want it if you're going to buy it for that. Uh, if you want to know why it costs so much when it's sealed, um, it's because of the four minifigures. And not just all four of them, uh, they, uh, two, two of the minifigures that it comes with are the reason why you will find a whole bunch of these as just the ship on Bricklink because people bought them, pulled out the minifigures, sold the ship because they didn't care, and then sold the figures individually. And uh, I'm also going to be going over what goes right here because the newest Ghost set is actually a two-parter, kind of. It's uh, the Ghost and the Phantom 2. So... Because of the uh, newer Ghost set having both those parts, I'm also going to be including the original Phantom. I don't have the Phantom 2. I wish I did because that set is the only one that comes with uh, the minifigure for Grand Admiral Thrawn. And he by himself is like, I haven't checked recently, but I think the last time I looked he was about 400 bucks. Uh, so getting that set is it's pretty pretty rough um i'm gonna go over the figures for that and then i'll go over the details for this guy right let me set him here so the minifigures that came in the 75053 the ghost are garazeb zeb aurelios this is the only set that zeb comes in and i've got him on this little base because uh damaged he's a 43 dollars plus you know starting at 43 dollars uh, minifigure. Uh, in new condition, like I have here, because he's been in the ship since I, I bought it, $110 figure right there. And uh, he comes with some accessories that I'll, I'll show later into the video. Uh, so that's Zeb, the first one. The next one is Harrison Dula. This one, uh, used, gets about 10 bucks. comes in two sets. Uh, this and the microfighter of the ghost, which I should probably pick up at some point. Uh, because of that, she's only $10 used and uh, $20 new, because she's a lot more readily available. Then, here's one that doesn't really matter, and also, I don't actually have it. Uh, <laughs> this is a stand-in for the uh, Imperial Stormtrooper with the printed legs, the dark as your helmet vents. This is not that figure. I cannot find that for the life of me. Um, that one came in six sets. I actually have one of the other sets that it came in, and I can't find the one for that either. Uh, these are not worth talking about, really. It's $4 new. This isn't even that, it, but it's pretty similar. And if you're wondering, it's because of the helmet. And, you know, six sets. Between 2014 and 2016... Any set that came with a Stormtrooper in it had basically this design, a little bit uglier. Like, these these helmets are just awful. They're not worth writing home about. So you get those about four bucks a piece if you want them in good condition. The big hitter. This is why, almost single-handedly, this figure is why you will see so many of the Ghost without figures on Bricklink. This is Kanan Jarrus. Now, there's something special about this guy that I just learned today. This is Kanan Jarrus with black hair and eyebrows. 
This figure in used condition starts at $190. He's been sitting up here in this turret since I got this set. So he is in like pristine shape. And that starts about 300 bucks. This is a $300 minifigure, which costs more than just getting the ship. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so looking into this, I don't know, about like 10 minutes ago, uh, turns out that Kanan Jarrus, all the ones with the black hair and the black eyebrows, uh, like the facial hair and stuff like that, these were all misprints. He was not supposed to have black facial hair, black eyebrows. So they switched it out for one that has uh, kind of a dark brown eyebrows and facial hair. And those go for about 10 bucks used. So I was lucky enough to uh, have this set since 2014 and not even know about that. I knew Kanan was kind of expensive, but damn. So those are the guys, the guys that come with it. Um, for the Phantom, before, I'm gonna, before I go into all the, the parts of these, I'm going to give you all the stats for this set. This set also came out in 2014. This is 75048. Came with 234 pieces, uh, retailed for $24.99, so not, not too bad. It was designed to come with the ship, and I bought them together, so it's what, 90 bucks, 25 bucks, 115 Not too bad for that. Uh, this came with two minifigures. Um, I know we had all the excitement over here, but... Uh, <laughs> Rain it in a little bit. So the first one was Chopper with the light bluish gray body. This one was in four sets and also came in three books. You know, sometimes you see those books, the Lego Star Wars books, and they'll have an um, exclusive minifigure in the front of it. Three of them came with Chopper. So he's the most readily available of all these figures so far. Used $5.00. New, nine bucks. Not a lot off of there. Uh, still better than the Stormtrooper. Because nobody wanted that Stormtrooper. It's just, ugh. That helmet design is awful. Uh, and then, Ezra Bridger with helmet. I'll show you the helmet later. Actually, I'll show you right now. Might as well. So he came with hel helmet and hair. So this is helmet. It's pretty neat. I think it's a unique helmet. He, in about damaged condition, you know, scuffing and I literally, the listing has it uh, with teeth marks. Uh, you get him for $8. If he's in new condition, like this one is, yay, he starts about 37 bucks. So, you know, still decent amount, but not quite to that level. E. I actually ran upstairs and told my wife, I hold in my hand $400, and it was just these two, and man, like I knew, I knew they were expensive, because those are the only sets they come in, but dang. Also, I don't think I mentioned that Ezra Bridger, Ezra, blah, 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 Ezra Bridger with the helmet, this is the only set that it comes with. So, let's get these out of the way and go over the features of this ship. So, as you can see, it's pretty nice. You know, it's good shape. A lot of, I mean, not a lot of details. Mostly just the details are made out of these panels and tiles and stuff like that. You've got your um, skate pods on the sides. These are actually kind of fun. Both of them slide out. You've got these kind of like forklift bits here, kind of keeping in spot. And then the top lifts up, and you can fit a figure in there. There's not much detail in here. Um, just kind of frictions together. And then it's on some Technic pins. Come on. Camera is going wild. Sorry about that. It's probably going to be jiggling a lot with this set. Uh, so you got one on each side. They both do the same thing. They're literally the same exact thing. Uh, you've got these panels here in the front lift up. This is where you store the flick flare. And this is where 
Kanan's uh, blaster and lightsaber are stored. And then there's another little, I think that's Hera's blaster there. You have an opening cockpit with a wraparound sticker. I hate when they do that. They did it on the, the skate pods too. It's so, so difficult to get those lined up properly without having to pick them up and put them down several times. It's absolutely awful. Um, you got a seat in there. I don't know if you can see those. You get a seat. That's where Harris sits. It's a little hard to get things in and out of there. And then even more difficult for the front turret. This is where Kanan goes. It's kind of hard to see in there. He just sits there. It's real hard to get him in and out of that. Um, then you've got this little turret that, it, while it's cute, it just swivels back and forth. There's, I wish there was some other way to get that there. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> just realizing... Uh, you don't have to have it be hard to get Kanan in and out of here because this slides forward. And then you can pop him in there. Not sure what you put behind him, but there's a, there's quite a bit of room in there. But that sled goes back. Well, it's probably like if you put... Actually, no, you can't even put a figure in there because the uh, part the hair sits. So that's how you get that out. Uh, these panels go up, but there's not really anything in there. Um, same with the back. They only go up a little bit. These are purely decorational. You got your engines, which are big and then bitty bitty scrawny. Uh, we have this flap here, which I'll demonstrate its purpose when we put the phantom on it. And these, these little doors here as a hatch is really, really fun little feature there. Um, that goes up. Same thing over here with the panels, and then you've got your tur turret in the center. This goes up, that spins around. This is where Zeb stands, and it comes out of the center. This one actually is a little difficult to put him in, because he sits in there, but you have to pull the top off. Not, not just that, come on. You have to pull the whole thing off, put him on the chair, put it in there, and then put this back on. And that's not secured to anything. It literally just sits there, which, you know, don't tip the ship over. But it is a play feature. It's pretty nice that it does rotate, like in the show. Um, I'm going to take that out again to show you sort of like where that goes in. You can't really tell what's down there, but I'll show you this. We have this little thing right here. If you push that in, no, pull it out, the bottom hatch comes out and you have this little canister that has Jedi Holocron in there. But you can't access that without having the ship up and it just drops down and like, yes, it's a play feature, but yikes, it's not, not a great feature. Put that up, push that in, has a little rubber stopper there. Um, you got flick fires, ah, flick fire missiles down here in the landing gear. Um, ba, 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 ba. Oh yeah, the last feature on here is right here. So this lifts up and you have more blaster storage. And this is the center of the ship, which is a real shame you don't get to see more because it features a lot in the show. But what can you do? There's only so much room. Especially if you got that turret. It takes up a lot of, a lot of space there. Let's put that back in. Actually, I'm going to leave that out. Because I'm going to tip this over. The bottom of this is not great. Um, you do have these Technus pieces to brace their front and back. This is very nice. Very stable. Uh, but there's there's nothing down here. Like this engine strip is it's literally one brick wide there's there's nothing down here i mean at least you get these panels right here to kind of block that view and you get a little tile there but then you look and there's there's nothing there you can literally see all the way through the ship and i mean yeah it's the bottom of the ship they're not 
display quality stuff. But come on, give us something there. <laughs> I mean, 90 bucks, not bad. Um, yeah. I do, I do like how they built this. They've incorporated the other set to put in it. Um, also, if you didn't get the, or if, or if you did get the first Phantom, and then you got the second Phantom, pretty sure that it was designed to fit here as well, uh, which is pretty cool back when they actually coordinated stuff. Uh, let's put this over here. Now we are going to show the Phantom. It's this one. It's a lot smaller, clearly. <laughs> uh, you've got a flick fire up here at the top. You've got your little laser turrets down there that don't really do anything. Um, you've got your cockpit. Nothing real special going in there. That's a... Oh, you got a yoke printed on there. That is a sticker, not a printed piece. Uh, at least the top of the canopy was printed. There's that. Um, that comes off as a escape pod, which I believe you see in the show. Spoilers if you haven't seen that, but if you haven't, where have you been? It goes back together. These wings fold down. It's actually kind of cool. The sides there. You know, fold there. And they fold up around that for storage. Pull them down again. Uh, back here you have a little storage flap that is where the helmet goes. Or presumably his hair if he's wearing it. And then, I don't know why I put that back in because when you take this off to get chopper in, it takes the entire top off with the flap that keeps the helmet in. Uh, that is where chopper sits. And he goes down in there. He just sits in there, pop that back on, put the helmet in. Like That's one little design flaw, I think, is that you might lose that helmet just trying to get chopper in and out of it. You fold that up. See those little engines there. And that's that's it. That's you know, $25 set. Came with two figures. Um, not much to say about it. But it goes onto the ghost like so. Put that panel up. This single stud here, and you see it's got a tile and that to keep it down, but that single stud, you put the engines in like that. Sit that in. And then panel goes down, and you have the ghost and phantom one, technically. It, the set is not called the phantom one, but it is phantom one. And there you have it. You've got quite a bit of value in these figures. Some of them, anyway. Um, this, notably, did not come with Sabine. Um, if you wanted all of the crew, you had to get the Ghost, the Phantom, and then you had to get the Gozanti Cruiser, which came with Sabine, and that was the only set where you can get her, hel her Mandalorian helmet. So that's, that part was, I don't know, like a hundred-something bucks by itself, just for one one little helmet. Um, but you do get her new helmet with the Ahsoka T6. So if you wanted to get that, that's that. But this is the Ghost and the Phantom. Uh, we're we're sitting on. Uh, I don't I don't know if I uh, went over the price for this. Um, retailed twenty five bucks. You can get it now, just the ship for 15 bucks, or sealed for 100 And there we go. That's the whole thing. Um, yeah, it's a cool ship. See you guys on the next video, which will probably be the 2024, no, 2023 um, remake. Toodles!